We are currently coming home from Key West, and on the way back, we happen to spot the biggest lobster we have seen ever. Betsy the lobster is just stone's throw behind us here. We are currently at the Rain Barrel Village. On their website, it says that they have been a top Florida Keys attraction for 40 years. So we thought we would stop in and see what this is all about. Let's go check it out. Now located just right off of Highway 1, there's Highway 1, is Rain Barrel Village. This place is packed. There, it says entrance here. Maybe we'll go here, but out front is the lobster. And they do have extra parking all back here, and they absolutely need it because it's crazy busy. So instead of going this way, we want to go down to the... We want to go around to the lobster first and show you the front of the building. There's Highway 1. You can see additional parking, more shops in the back. It seems like it cleared out some since we just pulled in. I mean, this was all packed, but there is parking out in front. We have the Rain Barrel Art and Shops Food, Beer, and Wine. And then right here is the massive lobster. Let's go look at it. Hello, Betsy. Betsy, the huge lobster. Just gonna do kind of a walkthrough. It says open seven days, nine to five. History. Here's the history of it right here. 30 foot high, 40 foot long. Florida spiny lobster. Took five years to complete. Yeah, look at that. That's unreal. There's a boat over there, an old car here. It's like a pretty unique shop. There's a cafe lobster shack that way. Oh, wow. Look at this. There's so many items in here. wonder if they got a little Betsy lobster somewhere you can buy. Here we go, here's some lobsters. Pretty neat little gift shop if you're looking for kind of a roadside attraction to stop in at. They do have stickers here. Actually quite a bit of stickers. So this is the gift shop area, and I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. Wow. And then out this way, a clothing company, more shops, handmade creations, food court. What in the world, a food court? Oh my goodness, look at all the food they've got. This for sure is a village. Cuban sandwich, lobster roll, aprons, and then, oh, a coffee menu. Fresh squeezed orange juice. And you can see there's Betsy and plenty of places to sit out here and enjoy your food at this roadside attraction. As seen on Shark Tank. Now we're gonna head even further back. This way, Artist Village. See all the different shops back here. Just say there's a handicap restroom this way. Pretty cool. You got some just art shops this way.
more shops ahead. Oh, there's a good photo op over there. Glass blowing today. Neat. Honestly, a pretty cool spot to stop at if you're heading into Key West or leaving Key West. Another little gift shop. Let's go in here. And this is what this gift shop looks like here. What's this say? Toss a coin in the well, close your eyes, and dream, make a wish in paradise. Life isn't what it seems. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty unique place. As far as restrooms go, though, um, all I really see are porta potties, but maybe they've got something different. Uh, nope, just porta potties, so. Might not be the best place to stop for restrooms. I'm gonna go back in here again, do one more little lap around, say bye to Betsy, and call it from this location. Some ornaments over here. Here's some prices. And there's stuff all over the place in here. Here are some drink prices. Right here you have the little bar area. And some wines. We made it back outside. Time to say bye to Betsy. Bye, Betsy. As we're walking to the car, let's check out a couple of these things. There's a really old car here. Welcome to the Betsy bar, come in. Look at all this stuff. So when you, oh, earlier I showed the bar, you can actually come over this way and look at all the unique seating they have over here. That's actually pretty cool. You can set in a swing, add some chairs here. That's pretty cool. And then over here, what do we have? We have Wow, do you read that story there? Look at that. Can't imagine going 140 miles on the ocean and something like that. That's insane. Anyway, though, here we go. Gonna call it from the Rain Barrel Village. And that indeed it is. It is a village. Well, worth, worth a stop even to get a picture. That was our trip out to the Rain Barrel Village. Just a roadside attraction here in the Keys. Definitely worth it to stop in and just get a photo. I think um, it's worth it to see the biggest lobster. I mean, that's one, one big lobster. It's the second most photographed spot in the keys i did not after see the that. southernmost point <laughs> that makes sense because we were down there at the southernmost point and it was pretty wild but five years to make that thing a lot of good little knick-knack gifts bought some bought a sticker betsy a sticker of betsy to put with our collection um only thing is it didn't seem like they had very good restrooms just some porta potty so if you do need a place to stop to actually go to the restroom uh would stop somewhere somewhere else like a gas station or something but glad we stopped mm -hmm. with that being said that does it for today thanks for watching